right, man. Terrence Crawford is saying that he must, you know, before he does anything else, he must get the Spence rematch out the way in 2024. Um, he won the MVP at the Celebrity Basketball Game and Miles Fur on my face once again. <laughs> um, so shout out to him. Um, he was out in LA and all that stuff. It looked like hooping. Check that he said back. We talked about that a little bit on the live yesterday. Um, if you missed it. Uh but Terrence Crawford, you know, <clears throat> must get the Spence rematch out the way in 2024. Since Terrence Crawford says he got a mandatory match with Earl Spence and must get it out the way uh, in early 2024 before he can consider other options, that's a fight that Terrence Crawford can't avoid. Okay. He said, I got uh, the rematch that I got to do before I can get another fight, said Terrence Crawford to fight hype. When asked about the fight, he's looking ahead. We just waiting on that. Uh, thus, Crawford is staying patient about the Spence rematch, but it's going to be worrying him because he's got the Canelo fight that's available to him if he can take care of business against Earl Spence once and for all. He said they're going to shape and write whatever they're going to write regardless. They're going to make you out uh, out who you're not or who you are or who what they think you, of you, saying Crawford about the media. So continue quote. So it's really don't matter what I do or what I say or how or how I carry. I've been carrying the same way. I've been carrying it the same way my whole career. And for people um, to make it seem like I've changed and I'm a different person, that is just uh, now jump on the bandwagon and follow Terrence Crawford. Um, on fighters waiting to uh, go promote a free, he says a lot of uh, things I could say right now. Uh, uh, that I'm not going to say, but there are changes that need to be made in the sport of boxing. I think changes are coming to the Crawford reacting to Ryan Garcia's situation with Golden Boy being used as an example of a fighter wanting to potentially go on their own and be their own boss. There's always that thing for us fighters to come together when you turn around. It's ego when you got a lot of fighters with big egos and pride issues. It's hard to talk to them about the nature, uh, about that nature, especially when you're talking about change. He said that's a big thing in boxing that eliminates a lot of things like promoters, managers, and things like that. People aren't going to like that, but when everything is put out in front of you, in front of you, you can go against it, said Crawford. To the PBC platform destination talk, I just hope it lands on the best possible uh, the best one possible for them. Crawford said where he hopes PBC will move next. Now the showtime will no longer be broadcast in boxing event. I'm not signed with anybody right now. So what so that where PBC ends up doesn't apply to me. I just wish everybody will. So, you know, Crawford said he ain't signed to PBC, but hey, he's still attached to them because he owed them a fight. And that's where all the fights he won at right now. Now, that could change because there's a rumor going around that Canelo Alvarez wants to go back to um, his own actors two fight deal up, which was Showtime and PBC. And you probably like, what you mean, Showtime? Showtime, he had a broadcast deal with Showtime. Yep, he had a broadcasting deal with Showtime, so they didn't buy it out, so they got to produce two pay-per-views of him next year. So they still will be working with PBC. All right, so they still will be working with PBC and him. So, I mean, but like I said before, um, it seemed like he wanted to be the catalyst for change. In this boxing game, and I'm pretty sure you know he aware the secure Stevenson contract is almost up. I'm super duper aware that he know that contract is almost up, and um, you know that contract is almost up. He probably gonna help him navigate the best way he can help navigate. Maybe he'll start an advisory company about making these dudes the best deals. Not everybody has a business mind. So for you to be able to pick up, um, for you to be able to pick, you know, be able to pick up business and be able to understand it, and then you can share it to the next generation, that could be something that he can kind of segue in his career. You know, that's something that he could segue in his career. You know, so when you when you start to talk about, you know, what are you gonna do after a career? I mean, there you go. An advisory company. So that's something that that he should give some type of thought to, honestly. Um, but nonetheless, uh, 
you know, he can't do nothing. Everybody is saying he ducking this guy. Everybody saying, you know, oh, he ain't doing this or he ain't doing that or whatever. But he literally, he literally can't do nothing until this rematch is, is, is fulfilled. It's supposed to be fulfilled in December. Obviously, the networks got in the way. So, you know, he wanted to rematch Claw, so Earl Spence wanted it his way too. And you can't get mad at that. You know, so we just got to wait and see. And they were trying to talk Errol Spence out of taking that rematch clause. And I know people say, well, they wouldn't have had control over Crawford. Well, where else Crawford going to go? That's the million dollar question. Where else, where else could Crawford go in this boxing world where he can go get a Canelo fight? Or he can get any of the fights that he need. You know, PBC mostly got everything that he need right now. Now, Canelo can even go his own way. I don't know if he'd be up to fight Tim Zhu, Jamil Charlo, Danny Garcia, Lara winner. Not sure he'd be up for that. You know, but we just had to wait and see. But he he strapped. He can't make no moves right now. And everybody's saying, oh, you need to fight Boots. Are you ducking this guy? Or you should be doing this, that, and third. What can I do right now? That's the million dollar question. What can I do? You know, what can I do right now? Literally nothing. You know, they not having they, they business together as far as uh networks and stuff. And then you see why Showtime gone, you know. Andrade Benavidez did how many pay-per-views? You know, how many pay-per-views did they do? You know? 60,000 was the report. 60,000. And people wonder why. And people wonder why, you know, they got out of Dodge. People wonder why they picked their ball up and went home. You know, it ain't it ain't no it ain't no mystery at all. It ain't no mystery. When you're doing numbers like that and you lose losing money or you ain't turning a profit that, that you believe you should be able to turn, you know, here you have it. Here you have it. So, but, you know, we waiting on them. We waiting on Al. He said, you know, I don't, I just wish they land on the best possible network. I ain't signed to them. He run around with Sam and people think he signed to him. You know, and I, you know, I don't think he's stupid enough to sign his life away. So, but I think it is the best possible place for him right now. Now, maybe it's better for him to be uh, a fluid free agent. And move how Canelo move. You know, maybe that's the best thing for him. You know. You know. Well. But, uh. But. We gonna have to wait and see, but he can't do shit till you get the rematch. But people still gonna try to put evil on him. You heard what he said. No matter what what I say or what what I do, people gonna write what they want to write, and that's unfortunate. People gonna ignore ignore the facts. You know, no matter what he do, what he say, some people just gonna continue to vilify him. And then when he retired, going to Hall of Fame, they do a documentary about him. Then they're going to act like how, how great he was and reminisce on his greatness. That happened to Muhammad Ali with people who didn't like him. That's going to happen to Floyd Mayweather. Once he decided to finally stop fighting, quote unquote, robbing the bank. You know, that's, that's you know, that's just, just the nature of the beast. 
What did Nas say? He said, I think he said, hatred is confused admiration. But, you know, y'all ask him to do a thousand and one things. He's contractually obligated. And then, you know, when you see the WB, the, the IBF strip him, then you probably like, hey, bro, he should be able to, you know, he should be able to, you know, go do these things. Maybe it ain't a contract obligation, but a lot of it is a lot of these Earl Spence fans want to protect Earl Spence. That's what it is. A lot of these Earl Spence fans want to protect Earl Spence. They don't want Earl Spence to go through with that rematch, so they want to get behind Jerron Boos Ennis and feel like he got the best chance of beating Bud. And that's and that's the and that's the honest truth about the situation. That's who they that's who they want to get behind. That's who they really want to get behind. So, but um they don't want to see Earl. But then again, what they're doing is you taking money out of Earl's pocket. Don't forget Earl went to go sign a different management. So he probably on the he be he be, be he does get put on the shelf a lot by his own doing, by Al Heyman sending him on the bench because he didn't want to fight Keith Thurman as a rumor. So he do get sit on that pond a lot. But Al Heyman can really put him down. <laughs> Talking like he a dog. He really can put him down and out or on the pond on the bench for a long time. If he don't do what he say to for, for hiring that new management company, Earl wanted to do what Earl wanted to do, and Al should let him. And maybe, and maybe he wouldn't be going along with this 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 rematch because he'd be a feel comfortable. Al would give him another hop, another fight, and won't put him in a bad situation. Now I look like they kind of beefing. He probably think Al gonna put him on a show, but it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live with our video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal in the description. Appreciate the love and support. Shout out to Boston's World to Wait playlist. Peace.